Hey everyone, it's Duncan Epping, yellowbricks.com, and today I'm going to show you something new which was introduced as part of vSAN 8.0 and in particular in the Express Storage Architecture. What I want to show you today is the Adaptive RAID 5 mechanism that was introduced. Basically what this mechanism does is depending on the number of hosts within your cluster, it will deploy a particular RAID configuration for RAID 5. That could be a 4 plus 1 configuration, meaning 4 data blocks and 1 parity block, or it could be a 2 plus 1 configuration, meaning 2 data blocks and one parity block and as I've already mentioned based on the number of hosts within your cluster you will get a specific configuration in my particular scenario I actually have six hosts within my cluster and starting with six hosts you will get a four plus one configuration so if I click the virtual machine and I go to monitor and I look at the physical disk placement I should be seeing a four plus one configuration meaning five components under a rate five configuration and now that we see the UI, we can actually see that, uh, that I have five components. So that is actually what has been created. Now, if we make changes to the cluster, what is going to happen is that vSAN is automatically going to reconfigure my RAID configuration. Now, do mind that this normally takes 24 hours. In this particular case, of course, I did speed up the video. So I'm going to place a host in maintenance mode. And then normally after 24 hours, the RAID configuration should change from a 4 plus 1 configuration to a 2 plus 1 configuration. Now, as I said, I did speed up the video, so it's only going to take a few minutes after I've made changes to my host itself. So I placed my host in this particular case in maintenance mode. But if you take the host out of the cluster or the host has failed, you will see the exact same result. When we now go to the RAID 5 configuration itself, what we will see is that over a certain amount of time, that 4 plus 1 configuration reverts back to a 2 plus 1 configuration. And that is what the adaptive RAID mechanism does for you. So let's refresh the UI and let's see if the changes have been introduced. And there you go. We just went from five components down to three rate zero configurations, which is basically a two plus one configuration because the host is placed in maintenance mode. Now, of course, when we take the host out of maintenance mode or we introduce additional hosts within our cluster, what is automatically going to happen is that two plus one configuration will revert back to a four plus one configuration. So again, depending on the size of the cluster, you will see a certain layout for your, for your data. Again, depending on the size of the cluster, your data will be laid out in a specific way. And hopefully with that, I've been able to show you what the benefit is of this particular solution, the Adaptive RAID 5 mechanism. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.